lovely time right here at the Mobile Ambassador Hotel situated in Accra, Ghana. And I'm with Sherry Thompson, an African-American who moved, but she's now Ghanaian, 25 <laughs> years ago. She said goodbye to America. And I want to find out what made her move and spend 25 years of her life in Ghana. Sherry. Amen. Amen. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Looking beautiful as always. You know, I love made in Ghana I stuff. I know, and you're an advocate for that. Apart yes. from being an advocate for sanitation, yes, you're an advocate for made in Ghana and our print always wearing something African on you. But Sherry, I want to take you back 25 years ago. Okay. When you decided to move to Ghana. Why did you I married to... a Ghanaian. Okay. That kind of would be the thing. Uh-huh. However, he was not in favor of me coming here. He wanted the kids and everybody over there were good, huh? But I remembered my childhood. And my childhood was full of people telling me what I couldn't do because mm. I'm black. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was 17 when I entered Cornell University because I didn't, I didn't care what people thought of my color. I, I was smart. And when they said, pick a safe school, I said, okay, Dartmouth, Vassar, you know, those were my safe schools. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I went ahead and said, let me check out what my kids would be doing if they stayed in the States. And I went to a playground in Chicago, and then I visited New York, and I went to a playground in New York, checked out the playgrounds, and what I saw at the playgrounds were nothing to play with. Wow. So I'm like, nah, I don't think so. I'm not trying to be, be like stressed out like this. Okay. I didn't want the stress. I was running away from stress. Didn't, little did I know we're going to get some other stress. Yes, <laughs> different type of stress. Different type of stress. Yes. But um, I made the decision to bring my children here and have them educated here because I wanted them to know what it was to have role models running things. Mm. Black folks running things. Wow. You know? When you married your husband. Yeah. Who is you, now my ex. Who's now your ex. That's fine. Were you coming to Ghana to see Ghana or was it just a one-time move? That's what I want to find out. I was going to come. My kids came before me. Okay. Wow. Yeah, because, you know, I'm like, mm, I'm not trying to do, you know, because I didn't know what was going on. You know, what we see on TV back in the day was nothing what I came to really see. And what were you seeing on, on, on TV and in America? <sighs> Children with flies and, you know, at their eyes and, you know, poverty and all kind of stuff like this. And I'm like, even though, you know, you look for information. Yeah. It wasn't really there. You know, we didn't have Google like we have it yeah. now. So what was coming at you was National Geographic. Mm. So, you know, I thought I was going to be on a zebra someplace. Yeah, yeah, but it was nothing like that when you came. Yeah, no, you know what I saw? I saw Jamaica. You know, oh. my parents are from Jamaica. Okay. And when I saw the houses, I'm like, oh, did we, where'd the plane go? <laughs> The houses, where uh -huh. they built, everything. Wow. I'm like, and then the food. Mm -hmm. Oh, are you sure? Oh, are you sure? Mm -hmm. Then I tasted the yam. <gasps> Ooh, girl, puna yam. Yeah. Ooh, I said, yeah, I got to stay for the yam. Wow. <laughs> and I'm not talking about a phone, neither. <laughs> <laughs> not the yam phone. No, <laughs> when I came, none of that was happening. This is 25 years mm. ago. So I... Ghana has grown and I have grown with, with, Ghana. with Ghana. How was the transition of finally moving to Ghana? You know, you've lived in America most of your life. Right. And letting go of all of that and your friends and your family. How was that? My father wasn't happy. I got a two-way ticket because, you know, my father and I, we're a little bit difficult together. I'm like, let me go and see what's going on mm -hmm. and then get back on the plane and finally, you know, you know, Oh no, I came here a month later, I was pregnant. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It, was my, it was my husband, by the way. Okay. <laughs> but I called him up on the phone because he had left. Uh -huh. 
and I'd stayed, you know, that's what God did. He, wow. he, 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 he made you stay. He made me stay. Sherry, so 25 years, <laughs> what differences have you seen oh. in Ghana? People complain a lot. They don't have this, they don't have this, they don't have this. You should have been here 25 years ago. Mm. Look at the beauty. I, I mean, we're sitting at the Moving Pick Ambassador Hotel. This was not here 25 years ago. Yeah. In fact, this place was abandoned, yeah. really. And look at it now. I'm in the, you know, and we can come here and enjoy the ambiance. These buildings that have gone up, state of the art, you know. I'm, I'm, I go by the Echo Bank building and I look at that and I say, wow, mm. look at something like this. Mm. You know, I'm looking forward to something more like this. Yeah. So we've gotten a whole different skyline. Yeah. You know, I'm a city girl because I'm from New York, so I'm looking at skyline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have a whole different road works system. I mean, we've put in roads. I mean, they didn't grow as fast as we're growing. We yeah. still now have more traffic, yeah. but we need to do other things. Mm -hmm. um, I'm looking forward to a mass metro system. Yeah. Okay. That would be good. That would be good. Definitely. Very good. Do you feel accepted by the Ghanaians? Do you feel Ghanaian? Do you feel a part of Ghana? You make your own acceptance. Okay. Let me say it that way. Um, you make your own way. If you want to stick with what you need to have, you know, you need to have this, you need to have that, you need to have this, instead of adapting to what's already here, you know, you're going to be in trouble. One of the first incidences that shocked me was I would walk with my girls, I'm pregnant, and this man stopped in front of us and went to the bathroom. And my girls was there and I'm trying to mm -hmm. cover eyes, you know, yeah. ooh, don't, you know, and I'm like, you know, shocked, ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. and covering eyes. They looked at me and said, mommy, this is normal. Wow. I'm like, I hope not. <laughs> and up to this day, I'm not sure what they were talking about was normal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So. That was kind of like a shock for me. Okay. That people would just kind of automatically stop in front of you and not try to find a bathroom mm, mm. and deal with their situation. Yeah. You're an advocate for sanitation. sanitation. Toilet sanitation. Toilet sanitation. And I mean, what, what was the trigger for you to become Mama Lou? What triggered you? I, what happened? I wanted to build biogas, biosanitation toilet facilities. Okay. And we got a chance to promote that uh, throughout Accra. Um, in the country, it started going about. So for me, um, the sanitation came as a passion for just wanting to have people know where to go. Okay. So I was happy when, you know, when all these rest stops on the road, nice ones, yeah. started popping up. Mm. I was like, yeah, okay, now we're talking. Mm. We, we can have tourism on the, another level on yeah. that. Very good. So we're, we were looking forward to those kind of okay. aspects of, of civilization. Okay. So is it something that you spoke to the Minister of Sanitation, Tourism? How are you going about it? Well, we, at the time, we didn't have a Minister of Sanitation <coughs> back when I started. Mm -hmm. What I did speak on was biogas technology. And I saw that it was an energy technology that incorporated sanitation mm -hmm. to produce uh, energy for cooking, for, for gas lighting, security lighting, okay. all of those type of things. I thought, well, shoot, we need to put this in all over the place. Absolutely. You know? Waste to energy is an amazing concept. And we need to embrace this. Yeah. So that's what I was embracing. I so have you got any support? Energy. Any, any support? Are you, have you been able to get any? Well, here's what happened. We built a um, facility for North Lekma and South Lekma cluster of schools. Okay. And a uh, biogas toilet facility. Fantastic. For those two schools. And uh, you have 9,000 young people impacted by that bill. We also did a behavior change communication piece that incorporated a comic book. And then we did an, uh, what we call a funtivity book, an activity book on 
wash, water, sanitation, and hygiene. Mm -hmm. And so the impact on that project was 24,000 kids. Wow. I love That's impact. Amazing. I love impact. And, you know, I was looking for more impact, but things are kind of slow. You okay. know, folks, you know, when they see one thing go and then they're like, okay, we did it. That's, you know, it. That's the end. That's it. You know, that kind of thing. It, I felt like that anyway. Okay. Um, we've since talked about other types of um, sanitation or waste to, to wealth type, uh, trash to treasure type pieces. I'm looking forward to doing a, a community park mm -hmm. that incorporates all the plastic waste mm -hmm. and Fantastic. we turn that plastic waste into wonderful things. Fantastic. Uh, we don't have enough we spaces. Mm -hmm. We call this a public space, yeah. although this belongs to the hotel. We don't have enough we spaces where kids can go and see play, things, yeah. go and play, see, see things beautiful. Yeah. Okay, and so that's what I'm looking forward to doing in the city, creating fantastic. beautiful places for kids to have a good time. That's fantastic. And are you soliciting for funds? Are you getting help I got help tired of that. So <laughs> what are you doing? How are you going to make it work? You know, I, I, you know, I get tired of begging, you know, because I, I really do. I think people thought that I came here with money. I didn't. Mm. Um, is that the perception that people think that you know you've come you've got this yeah American well accent. diasporans are supposed to have money dripping from their nostrils yeah. you know oh let me catch that <laughs> <laughs> but it's not like that no it's not like that in fact i'm kind of glad i didn't come with money because um the war stories mm -hmm. that we have when people get duped and uh, you know scammed yeah. and flim flammed it's it's too much because okay. we want people to come live, give, and, and be a part of the development of not only Ghana, but of Africa, Africa. okay? Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm very happy that I've been a part of talking about development, um, not only sanitation, but renewable energy development, uh, trade development, the Africa Continental Free, Free trade, trade Agreement. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Honey, we got a $84 billion opportunity. Absolutely. I hope people take a good look at that opportunity and yeah. get going, you Fantastic. know? We don't need to be sitting around trying to figure out COVID. COVID did not impact us the way it's impacting the United States. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go for a commercial break, but the question I'm gonna ask after my commercial break is that would she encourage more African-Americans to come to Ghana and settle? I'll be back after this commercial break. Imperial Homes Ghana and Great Britain has carved a niche for itself within the real estate industry as the premier provider of luxury homes in Ghana and England with a mission to provide safe, good value, modern housing and personalized estate management services to its clients and customers. All our homes meet the lifetime home standard as well as the highest standards of engineering excellence, safety, environmental sustainability, and cost efficiency. Imperial Homes, a signature of luxury. Gubit Card welcomes you to the land of gold, Ghana. The Gubit Card is a unique loyalty card which gives you the opportunity to enjoy discounts of up to 40% on goods and services. You enjoy discounts of the best of hotels, amazing restaurants, beauty lounges, spas, health centers, fashion houses, and shopping centers in Ghana. The Guba card can also be used as a prepaid visa card with Access Bank, our partners, offering you conveniences on all payment platforms. Applications is safe, secure, and valuable. Call us or WhatsApp us on 0245-156-705. Visit www.gubadiaspora.com. Guba Card, the best discount card in Ghana. With over 1.2 billion people, Africa is a large continent with a rapid economic growth, full of investments and business opportunities. It hosts numerous opportunities for entrepreneurs, businesses and individuals as Africa marches towards a better economic future. How do you become part of it? Who can you safely speak to? Where do you start? Think no further. Odana Connects. We have identified the challenges people face in getting the right people and discovering the right opportunities in Africa. 
Odana Connects will be the platform where people and businesses seeking opportunities in Africa meet and connect like never before. Odana Connect. Join our waitlist for early access this summer at www.odanaconnect.com. Welcome back from that short commercial break. I'm still at the beautiful Movenpick Ambassador Hotel in Accra and I'm still joined by the fabulous advocate for sanitation, for tourism as well, for Ghana fashion, for made in Ghana, for everything. I remember <laughs> seeing her at different events and she must make sure that her voice is heard. She always stands up and asks a question and the questions are always an impactful question that actually gets the panelists actually thinking, oh, I need to answer this question right because <laughs> Sherry is going to be on my back. But Sherry, no, honestly, thank you for being an advocate and always standing up for, you know, some Ghanaians, we're quite quiet. We are not ones to really stand up and ask a question. Yeah. But I know that every event that I have attended that you have also attended, you ask a question and you make sure that you get the answer to the question, yeah. which I think is important. So for those that are in the diaspora, you know what's happening in America, Floyd, everything. There's so many things that have happened in America. Get on the boat, the plane. If they even build a train, get on the train wow. and get your butts over here. We tired, okay? I'm like, kids, I know we don't have no space program over here, but come on over here and build one, okay? Mm. That's my daughter, wow. okay? She'd be like, mommy, uh, it's money, yo. I'm like, yeah, well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, for everybody else, you ain't got to go nowhere else to get green pastures. Yeah. Just come around. up in here and see some green pastures. Mm. Mm. Do you think African-Americans are not seeing the opportunity that's they in are. Africa? They're coming. They are? I call it Exodus 2.0. Wow. They're coming. The problem is they don't want just the hype. Okay. They want real, and they want real oh, life you. on the ground. Mm -hmm. They want to know that when they come, they're not gonna be facing a whole lot of drama, because mm -hmm. we come from drama. We don't need to come into drama. Okay. Okay. So, year of return, fabulous. Okay. I I, I hadn't played so much in my life. Wow. <laughs> I loved everything. Okay. It was an amazing opportunity for African Americans to come and see, you know, yeah. what's available mm -hmm. uh, business-wise, what's available accommodation-wise. Yes. And I need to talk about that. We need to f uh, deal with the accommodation Situation. and what's mm -hmm. happening with the accommodation. Okay. okay. We need to deal with that. Not only affordable, but all the things should be in place if you're going to ask for money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, you come here and you see, okay, it looks good. And then two and a half years later, stuff is falling apart. Mm. Quality is quality. Excellence is excellence. And we as Ghana need to push forth excellence. You know, one of my favorite things about Ghana is my dad had his tailor mm -hmm. was from Ghana. Okay. The Ghanaian tailor. That man could hook up my dad. Wow. That quality, that excellence is what, you know, got him, you know, my dad was very happy and that's the suits, whatever that man made, made for, for him. him. Yeah. He was happy there. Okay, so we need to be about excellence. Yeah. We need to be about quality. Mm. We need to be about that, okay? And that's basically what I'm saying. Mm. We, we can do better. Okay. We can always do better. Our young people are amazing. And you know I hang out with a lot of young people. Yeah. I got some over there in the back. Yes. Yeah, they, there yes. they are. I, I'm mentees all over the place. Yeah. They love to innovate, they mm -hmm. love to create, mm -hmm. they love to do amazing things. Yeah. Uh, I, what they, what I see them doing, is having ideas. Okay. They have very excellent ideas, mm -hmm. but they don't have anybody to do the funding at that stage that comes after the ideas. Okay. We got a lot of people funding ideas. We got a lot of people doing pitches and carrying on this way with our young people, but. After that comes research and development, yeah. R&D. Mm. Africa is not good with R&D. Okay. 
okay? We need to be able to uh, help our young people tweak everything, mm -hmm. prototype develop. Yep. They can't have an idea and then just go to market. Yep. They have to do beta testing. There's got to be stuff that is done so that we can get any product, any service correct. That needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And we have a hard time doing that. Uh, people just want to say, oh, so when are you starting? Mm -hmm. You know, we can't go to market unless we test some things. And we need to encourage our young people to patent. Hey. Hey. That's true. They don't like to patent, though. Why? You know? Yeah, and we don't need to patent in the U.S. The patent house of Africa is Zimbabwe. Did you know that? Yeah, I know that. Good. So we need to strengthen their structure, yeah. their infrastructure mm -hmm. in patenting. And we need to use that. Yeah. And we need to make that, that. Well, that happen. Yeah. Okay? We need to make that happen. I'm looking forward to the Africa Continental to Free, free trade. trade Agreement mm -hmm. making that happen. Yeah, okay? true. Excellent, excellent. Awesome. I want to eat, yep. but I can't talk and eat at the same time because <laughs> my mama told me not to do that. So we Let's gonna eat take, a little bit. We're going to take that eat break. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you think about food in Ghana? Oh, I got some things to say about food in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Honey, it's fabulous. I remember the first time Yam. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, everybody need to come here just to have some yam. Then um, I remember the first one, one time this guy said, you're invited. And you know me, I'm from New York. You say what you mean and you mean what you say. If you say I'm invited, honey, I tucked into that food. He looked at me and said, oh, I didn't really mean for you to do that. <laughs> but I didn't know it was a like a courtesy thing. Mm -hmm. I thought he saw that I was hungry and, you know, wanted to kind of help me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I realized that you're invited doesn't really mean that. Mm -hmm. So do you think um, Ghanaians help each other out a lot in terms of business wise, supporting, promoting? Are we doing a good job? Um, you could do better. Yeah. You could do better. Um, I see a lot of copying. <laughs> Okay. I remember when comm centers came into the existence. Remember, I'm here for 25 years. Yeah. So comm center, one comm center came, mm -hmm. and then everybody had a comm center. It's true. There was a lot of comm centers. You're right. You know? Well, we got to be a little bit more innovative mm -hmm. than that. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to us understanding that Competition is good, mm -hmm. but it's not good when everybody's doing it. When everybody's doing the same thing. Everybody's doing the same thing. You got to have your own idea, mm -hmm. your own competition, things, you know, that you want to have happen. You have to have that happen. Okay? So, I'm looking forward to things getting a little bit more structured. I love the fact that these days we have hubs. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, Tech hubs, we have yeah, business hubs. Yeah, growing now in, in it, Ghana. It, it's not only growing, it's technology allowed our young people to have a place to go. Mm. Uh, before then, uh, they were frustrated because, the, you know, they didn't understand why they were so excited about technology mm -hmm. and everybody's like, you know, be a doctor, be a lawyer, be a... <laughs> not anymore, not anymore, not anymore. The real people that are making money is the technology. Uh -huh. So, you know, now now during COVID, they see that these technology giants, these billionaires became multi, multi-billionaires, yeah. doubled yeah. their value in, in the COVID crisis. Mm -hmm. Who heard of Zoom two years ago? Yeah. No one. Nobody. <laughs> no. Now that man's a multi-billionaire. Mm -hmm. We all zooming all over the place. I'm That's zoomed true. out. If, it, if you ask me, I'm, I'm trying not to zoom anymore, <laughs> you know? So, um, yeah, technology gave our kids digital things to do um oh it's amazing uh the digital artists the graphic artists everybody on web web artists mm -hmm. web designers all of those people came because of digital technology mm. if you were if you were to run the country <laughs> 
If, uh -oh. Terry, if Terry was given... Uh oh don't, don't ask this no, question. No, I'll ask the question. Oh, no, girlfriend. You're going to get me in trouble. No, I'm not going to get you into trouble. So if you were allowed to run the country, just for two weeks. Two weeks? Yeah, okay. Madam President, what are the things that you would change wow. in the country? Let, let, me, let me get a napkin here. Let me get a napkin. Because <laughs> I, got, I got to look presidential here. <laughs> Okay, here you go. I gotta, I gotta look, I gotta look like uh, my girl. You know, she's a soror. Oh, yeah. I gotta look like mm -hmm. Camilla. Camilla. Okay, Camilla is doing very well. Mm -hmm. I gotta look at least vice presidential. Uh-huh. Talk to me. Okay, guys, don't throw me out of the country for this. Sometimes folks come up with ideas mm -hmm. that they think are implementable or good ideas, but they're not. Um, Gallum say, okay. you got a whole bunch of people from another place ripping through our countryside, okay? Mm. And if you were to go to their country, you could not do the same thing. There's supposed to be a ban on Gallum say. It's not working. Okay. We have whole rivers being destroyed. And what impacts a river impacts the soil along the river. Yeah. So if you want to see people die, they're going to die of poison. Mm. They're not going to die of COVID. Yeah. Okay. They're going to die from the poison that's now seeping through their system and causing cancer. Okay. Okay. If we're supposed to have a ban on this, let's really do have a ban on this. Okay. And let's work it out so that we reclaim the lands that have been lost. We need to do some serious reclamation on places that have been lost. We need to have uh, a policy that works, okay. uh, a policy in mining, any type of mining that really takes a look at the land and how that land is, is utilized. That to me is primary. Okay. Um, environment <laughs> is primary for me. Um, that's why I'm Mama, Mama Lou. It's sanitation. Yeah. Okay, I go back to that. Yeah, environment is important because we build our lives within an environment, and if our environment is poisoned, mm -hmm. we can't live. So that's an area that I would look at: how the environment is being impacted by human. Uh, development by human activities and we need to take a look at the policies that help us to maintain biodiversity in our environment, uh, maintain beauty in our environment. These are the things, that's okay. one of the first priorities that, that you would have. That yeah. You have. Yeah. What about you, you mentioned, I mean, you know, through some of our conversations, you're very passionate about solar. And Sunshade how we're not, energy. Yeah. Yeah, Sunshade so. energy started during Doomso. Okay. I was at a pitch contest for sanitation and I lost. Okay. Ooh, I was crying. And I walked into my hot, dark apartment place and I had a conversation with God. You said, let there be light. And there was light. And uh, we were at peace and we were we were having a conversation okay, okay. I, I have this kind of conversation and then all of a sudden i screamed in the room let there be light and suddenly nothing wow nothing. how did that make you feel <laughs> but there was a light okay. i had an idea okay and that was the light okay and so if you google sun shade energy it was the negawatt competition winner for ghana okay in 2015 I went to Barcelona on a 10-day study tour. Wow. I loved it. It was wonderful. I came back saying, yes, I'm going to make Accra a smart city. You tried. Uh, they didn't want that smart. You know, people, 
They okay. like your enthusiasm, and then they try to, okay, so what money you bring? <laughs> okay. <laughs> that kind of thing. Okay. But my idea was an appliance, and it was a solar appliance that helps with um, heat in your apartment, in your room. It mitigates against heat gain. Okay. While collecting solar energy and storing it for lighting. <laughs> for, and then because we're using LED. Mm -hmm. So it is a base of the pyramid impact innovation. Because mm -hmm. if you have a, a light, if you have a window, you, you have a, a, a shade, you're my client. Mm -hmm. It's an impact innovation that uh, really is an introduction to solar energy at base of the pyramid. Okay and um, an impact uh, introduction to LED okay. at base of the pyramid. People didn't understand what LEDs were. Now, you Nothing, got, yeah, yeah it, it's, it's starting to, and that was five years ago. So we've, you know, gotten yeah. to a, a, some place since then. Uh, so we're looking for innovation. We're looking for creativity. We're looking for uh, implementation. How do we get from this place to this place in, in the shortest amount of time. We don't have time to, to mess around. Mm. And I think COVID, to be very honest with you, all of this last year, 2020, was God saying, okay, let me give you a rest so that you can catch up with the rest of the world. Mm. So we're not supposed to be sitting here going, oh, COVID, COVID, that can't be our excuse because mm. we're not there mm. with that excuse. What we need to do is reset, okay. rethink, and move forward. And Fantastic. we have an opportunity to do that. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Sherry, for being on the show. Um, you know, you're a true inspiration, a great ambassador for Ghana. Um, you're officially Ghanaian anyway. Um, <laughs> even you know, though I don't speak a language. I, even though you don't. I'm surprised. 25 years. Oh, what happened? Please, Come please. on, Sherry. Everybody asked that. You've been that. here 25 years and you can't even speak oh, tea or ga. Hold on. And your husband Minasani. was Ghanaian. Is that all? Ah. Why? Mininke. Sherry, what happened? Why okay, can't you so speak what, the language? What happened? Look at me. I was asking to be taught how to ask for sex in Ghana. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go there. You knew. You asked. So I'm going to go there. So I had a young woman write down, you know, how to ask for sex in Ghana. Because I wanted to surprise the husband. Okay. He was still the husband at the time. Okay. And so I was studying it. And it was, I put it in my bag. And he went into the bag. We had like two, we had two weeks worth of fight. And I'm talking about knock oh down, my. drag out, fist oh. Okay? Because he thought somebody had written that to me. Oh. Don't mind. See, that's why you don't go into a woman's bag. <laughs> anyway, I was trying. But it never worked it out. It didn't work out because, oh. you know, you're going to get all hot and bothered, yeah. you know, and indignant because you think something's going on. Yeah. Okay, fine. You so know. that's why you didn't get to learn. And as and actually, tree is very nice. I just never had the time because I had kids. I was okay. raising them, okay. trying to go here and there with them. I could probably do it now, but this year I'm going to be 60. Yeah. Wow. I said it. 60. On, on TV. Wow. And uh, eh, language acquisition at 60, eh, a little tough. You can still do it. You can still do it if well, you want to do it. but. I, I, Denta, Everything is possible. You're, you're, you're inspiring me yeah, with no, that. I, think you you should, know, you should. Okay, I should give it a shot. Yeah, give it a shot. So, which one of the 54 languages of Ghana okay. should I do? Ah, ha! You there know, you <laughs> I'm not gonna say it, <laughs> but you know, um, you know, I like you know, you, you yeah? like Krubble. Okay. Okay. Do you know what? I think I like Fanti. I like I do the like way Fanti. Fanti. And obviously, you have to mix Ashanti in there. And you, you have to learn the guy. Come on, you were married to a guy before. I mean, you need to learn it. Hey, that's a tonal language. I call it the Chinese of Ghanaian language. <laughs> really? Yeah. La can mean five different things depending on how you say la. La. Yeah, that's one word. La. la. That's another <laughs> word. La. That's a different <laughs> word. <laughs> Sherry, you know what? Thank you so much for joining me on the show. But your last thing to the audience who are watching that are thinking of moving to Ghana, what do they have to do to prepare to make that move? Learn about, not only Ghana, learn about Africa. 
Uh, we now have YouTube, we now have Google, we now have so many things happening that help people understand what Africa, what Ghana, what Nigeria, what all these places are really about. Study before you come. And then when you get here, find people that have been here for a while that can help you with the orientation. And then enjoy life because there is life to enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cherie, for joining me on the show. My beautiful audience, I hope that you have enjoyed. Make sure that you click that button and subscribe. And I will see you next time with more Diaspora Transition stories. Take care and God bless.